Hey guys, what's going on? It's Target here. Welcome back to another episode of the Buffalo Sabres BGM. So we're ready to get the year underway. We've just got to do some roster moves, edit some lines, do things like that. But before we get going, don't forget at the end of the video, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Only do it if you like the video, of course, and leave a comment. It lets me know what you guys want to see next time from our BGM. It's, I always try to keep it incredibly interactive and subscribe if you haven't done so already. All right. So now I said we we're going to take a look at the roster moves. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go into roster moves here. And we need to reassess our uh, our roles of uh, who's down in the minors. Now, we've got Pavel Zaka. They've actually got him labeled as a fourth-line winger. I don't like to bring skilled guys up like Pavel Zaka until they're considered a second-line winger. I want to keep him down there. So one more year in the minors will probably get him to about an 83-84 overall. He'll be ready for the third, maybe the second line, depending on how things go. He is a two-way forward, so they have to get a little bit higher on overall before they're actually considered a second-line player. Uh, we got a lot of minor scorers. We have one depth player that's Nick Baptiste. He's dropped down a little bit here. He's played two NHL seasons, and they still got him as a depth forward. Now, one of the surprises for us this year is Anthony DeLuca, 85 overall sniper. Look at his shot, guys. 98 wrist shot power and 81 accuracy. That is something to be desired. But he's a good third-line option. There's no doubt about it. He's a really good third-line option. They've got him labeled as a second-line player. Now, Rick Nash did drop. He's now a second-line player, but he still has that fantastic shot. We give him the right minutes and the right players to play with, and he'll actually look really good out there. Um, so right now, if we take a look at the lines, this is what things are looking like. We got Reinhardt, Kessler, Gergensens, and Carrier down the middle. We got... Uh, Goudreau, Nash, DeLuca, and Devon smith Pelly down the left wing. And then Stahl, Zuccarello, Felino, and Grigorenko down the right wing. So that's not bad at all. Everything up until Grigorenko. Grigorenko is playing the fourth line. He's had, what, four NHL seasons, has never put up more than 46 points in those years, and he's still 82 overall and 24 years old. I think that the dream of Mikhail Grigorenko is done. I think we need to move him. If we can couple him maybe with a Tyler Myers, we might be able to get a top-pairing defenseman. So, I mean, right now it'd be hard to make that deal because the year is just getting started. But we can see what's available, okay? We can see what's available. Um, now, the teams that we were looking at, remember there was St. Louis, and who else was there? Um, whoever we picked up CC from, which was Ottawa. So let's head over to St. Louis. Let's see what the situation there is looking like. See if Bo is still there. Uh, St. Louis. So we look at D-men. All right, so they've got uh, Petrangelo, Shattenkirk, Bo Meester, Gunnarsson, Cole, and Dahlstrom. So you see a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. All right, so we could give them a, a defenseman. Now, that's not a bad option if we picked up Shattenkirk, okay? Uh, let's take a look at if we ended them a center. What kind of centers do they have? Bacchus, Stastny, Barbashev. Uh, Ivan Barbashev is a depth forward. So they don't have many centers, to be honest. They don't even have a third line center, and that would actually work. So what happens? That would actually make sense, okay? So I'm going to take a look around the league a little bit more. Um, let me take a look at Anaheim. Uh, defense. They've got... One, two, three, four, five, six. Nobody really out playing out of their, their role right now. Ekman, Larson, and Yandel. Nope, nobody playing out of their role right now. Gormley, maybe. Uh, what is it? Top, they're all top fours. Yeah, I'd want a top two. Boston. They got Dougie Hamilton, Mark Giordano, Tori Krug. Uh, nobody really playing out of their element. Let's see here. Jake McCabe, 84 overall. Not bad. Carolina. We got Justin Falk, Ryan Murphy, Sakara, nobody there. Chicago, nobody there. Um, nobody in Colorado. Columbus, probably not. Nope. Dallas, probably not. No, they've got no defense. Um, nobody in Detroit either. Edmonton, they have Justin Schultz, Marincin. Nope, still nobody. They got Noah Hannafin. He's 83 overall. Good. He's getting good. Uh, Florida, Ekblad. They got Ekblad, Kulikov, Petrovic. Oh, and good Branson. See, they got some depth here. They've got some depth here. Let's take a look at Petrovic. What's his deal? He's a defensive defenseman, 87 overall, three and a half green stars, good shutdown guy. We don't have an offensive defenseman for that top line, do we? We could use one, but we don't have one right now. Um, and then they got Kulikov and Ekblad. Petrovic is the only guy they'd be willing to deal, I think, at this point. Uh, they also got this Dollywall guy. Right, Riley Dollywall, 79 overall defensive defenseman. So there's him. All right, so Florida's an interesting option, too. 
Nobody in LA. Minnesota, probably not. Nope. Uh, Montreal, nope. Nashville, they Seth Jones, maybe, but he's their up-and-comer. They're not going to be willing to get rid of him when these guys aren't considered a top two. They're going to want him to replace Jay Weber, so they'd never deal him. Uh, Adam Larson, no, nobody's going to want to deal him. Nobody here. The Rangers, no, they have zero depth of defense, so giving up a top defenseman is not what they want to do. If we wanted to pick up a winger from them, we could. Uh, nobody here because they want Cohen and Carlson. We already took CC off their hands. Uh, let's see here. Philadelphia. Nobody here. Pittsburgh. If Harrington was... Harrington's a young guy. He is a young guy. Four yellow stars, but he's not considered a top-end pairing defenseman. And then their their depth definitely drops off after that. Uh, we've got Vlasic and Mueller. Now everybody's playing a position there. St. Louis, yep. Uh, Tampa. Hedman and Carl. Nope. Toronto, they've got Riley and Gardner. No, nope, those aren't going to want to deal those guys. Uh, Vancouver, doesn't have anybody. Washington, probably not. Winnipeg, probably not. And Anaheim, we've already been there. So I think the only team that actually makes sense to us would be St. Louis. And it'd have to be Shattenkirk because I'm not picking up uh, Bo Meester. I know he's, he's an aging player. So if I sent them Myers, all right, Myers, and I want to send them Grigorenko, all right, Myers, Grigorenko, this wouldn't go through because they need to send a player back. Um, who do they want? Oh, let's look at all all skaters. So it'd have to be somebody that is a roster type player that signed Thompson. No, oh, why won't it come back? What's the matter here? Oh, probably cap. That's cap space. Really? Okay, they they must be really close to the cap. So. Who's got the fewest years left on their contract? Grigorenko's got one... Oh, that's one way. Uh, one year left for Grigorenko. But we can only retain so much from him. What about Myers? How much does he have left on his contract? He has one year left too. So we can retain some salary. There you go. That's all that would need to be retained. You know what? I'll retain a million dollars of salary to make that go through. All right. So we retain, retain a million dollars. Grigorenko, Myers, and I think they're going to want to pick on this one to make it go... Ah, uh, they don't want any picks. What could we give them back their way? Nope. Oh. Uh, let's go down here. Evan DeHaan, 81 overall defenseman. Uh, Two-way defenseman. You know, he, he's he's seasoning. He's, he's becoming seasoned. Uh, Malukovic, what's his deal? Defensive defenseman. Four red stars, 79 overall. You know what? I would deal Malukovic if they want him. All right, so that won't go through because of the cap. But that'll give him a nice prospect to replace defense. You know, he's, he's a red star, so it's a gamble. And we're going to have to take somebody back. Let's take, uh, let's take Thompson back, all right? So let's try Myers, Grigorenko, Malukovic for Shattenkirk and Thompson. And we're retaining a million dollars of salary from Myers. I think this is going to help our team long term, guys. We're going to get that awesome two-way defenseman in Shattenkirk. He's 29 years old. He's in his prime. He's a top-pairing defenseman. Will it go? No. I feel you've met our blocks quite admirably, but the value is just a bit low. Okay, so it's pretty close. It's pretty close. So let's throw a pick on there. Uh, let's throw a, let's throw next year's third on there, all right? That should go through. That'll make it go through, will it? There you go. And I'm happy to accept this proposal on behalf of the St. Louis Blues considered a done deal. So that works out well for everybody because now if you take a look at the St. Louis Blues defense, all right, they've got one, two, there's their top pairing, and then they've got three, four, five, six. So that's not bad. That doesn't affect them that much. And now their centers, they've actually got... Bacchus, Stastny, and Grigorenko, who has a future, and Barbashev, who's playing there as well. Uh, they got their left winger set, and they've got their right winger set. So I think that this definitely makes sense all around for both teams. I think that's a really good hockey trade. And then we come up with looking like gangbusters here. I mean, look at our defensive core now. You got Shattenkirk playing with Demers, Ristolainen with CeCe, Bowie with one of these guys, and we got tons of 81 overall guys that I'm just going to play down in the minors just to give them some some uh, seasoning down there. So we'll probably give Zadorov the nod up in the, the big leagues, but that's a good trade. That's a really good trade for us. Uh, so let's do roster moves. We need to call up a player. We need to call up a winger. Um, not him. I guess I could, I would call up Baptiste. Yeah, let's call up Baptiste. I know he's considered a depth, depth forward, but, uh, we'll go by best lines here. There you go. Baptiste Gergensens and Felino. I'm going to switch Zuccarello and Stahl. We'll put Goudreau in the top line with Reinhardt and Stahl. Uh, that's fine. We can switch them around if they're not getting things done. Carrier, Devon smith Pelly and, uh, Baptiste. Demers and Shattenkirk. Uh, we got all two-way defensemen now. And they've got Mark Pissick playing here. 
Um, hold tight. Let me go back. I want to go out to my... I'm going to go to my defense. How many defensemen do I have called up right now? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight called up right now. So we'll send D'Angelo down. Um, I'm also going to send Pissick down. I've got no need for him. We'll give Zador off the time, I suppose. He's he's good defensive defenseman. What's Bowie? Bowie's an 82. I mean, you can't you can't argue that. And his off his defense isn't as good. Pissick is a two way. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna send Pissick down. And one, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. That's much better. And oh, Shattenkirk's only a top four. I thought he was a top two. That's okay. That's okay. I think he's a pretty good player. Uh, 88 overall. Some guys are top two. Some guys are top four. But he's he's a good overall player. And it's the only really goal like forward that made or defenseman that made sense for us. Best lines again. Switch Zuccarello and Stahl. Defense now gives us Zadorov and Bowie on that bottom pairing. Ristolainen and CeCe. Demers and Shattenkirk. I think that looks really good now. Um, Goudreau. Power play. I'm actually going to put... from. I'm going to switch out Zuccarello. I'm going to put in our buddy here, Anthony DeLuca. He's got a really good shot. Um, you know what? Let's put him on the point. Let's put him on the point. Hold on. Let's put, uh, let's put Zuccarello back in here. And I'm going to take... What's CeCe's shot like? He's got a pretty good shot, but not nearly as good as DeLuca's. I'd like to put DeLuca on that point. Yeah, let's put uh, let's put DeLuca on that point. Let him play there. Shattenkirk and Bowie. Okay, that, let's see how that goes. Four-man power play. We're going to take CeCe off. Uh, where is uh, DeLuca? There you go. That looks a little bit better there. That gives us the top scoring that we need. Um, Zuccarello, what's his shot? You know what? I'm going to put Rick Nash out there. I think that he has a better shot than he does. Uh, penalty kill, Kessler and Stahl, Reinhardt and Gergensons. Sure, that's fine. Three-man penalty kill, Kessler and... You know what? I'm going to go Kessler and Gergensons. I want that depth. Uh, Reinhardt, Goudreau, that's fine. Stahl and Zuccarello. And then Kessler and Nash. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Extra attacker, we got Reinhardt and Kessler as our give go guys. You know what? I'm going to give... Uh, yeah, Reinhardt and Kessler. That's fine. That's fine with me. And then goalie. Yeah, Nichols is an 89 overall. Oh, uh, we need to go back to roster moves. I need to look at our goaltending. Because <laughs> we've got, yeah, Sen down in the minors. So I got to call him up. He's a minor starter, but you know what? We're going to send Wilms down. Brody Wilms. Back to edit lines. Um, goalies. I just got to put in Sen. There you go. Let's go over to Rochester. Best lines in Rochester. So, Zaka, jo Nick Waugh, Joel Armia. Those are 379s on the top line there. Defense, we got Pissick and DeHaan. Kylington is 78 overall. We got, we're going to rock this year. I mean, Oliver Kylington's a great defensive prospect. I want to give these guys the, the time, the seasoning, you know. Uh, Laurent Boussois and Kakinen. He's four yellow stars. Um, so, we got, uh, obviously, we got Wilms who we, we drew. You know what? I'm going to dress Wilms. And I'm going to scratch Brassois. We're going to put Wilms in. And we're going to put... Wait, no. We want to put Kakinen in. There you go. That's who we're going to start as our goalies. I want to give Wilms that time because he is the better player. All right. We can finally get this year started, guys. Let's get through the... Oh, uh, scouting. Let's do scouting first. Scout assignment. Here we go. So there's a top five goalie, Andrichuk. Uh, forwards. Let's take a look at forwards in the uh, WHL. Top ten. Two top fives in the O, a top five in the Q, bunch of firsts there in the uh, United States. Um, just gonna there's a top ten there, a top five there, two top tens in Russia. What about defense? Probably no top five defensemen. There's a top ten. Lots of prospects. A couple first rounders, and then goalies. I just want to do a quick look through here. It definitely looks like forwards are the players to scout. This year's a top five in Swiss, right? We knew about them. All right. So let me take a look back at forwards. They got one top ten and two seconds. Or two firsts slash seconds. Nobody's really got a ton of firsts. The United States does. You know what? I'm going to scout the United States first because we know that there's the top fives there. I want to get a better idea about those first rounders. All right. So now we got that going. Let's get through the preseason. This is a big year for us. We got a lot of good players stepping up here. We got Sam Reinhardt who's stepping into his own. Uh, we got a nice complimentary supplementary pieces of Johnny Goudreau, uh, Rick Nash, Zuccarello. You've also got Kessler, uh, 
Eric Stahl, like tons of really good players. Then obviously uh, Nichols is now an 89 overall goalie, and he's elite. He's top end, top of the line. That's exactly what we drafted him for, and it's finally his turn. Wow, Eric Stahl with four goals and four assists through three games, but then we follow it up with a 2-1 loss. So it's going to probably be a little bit patchy because our defensive core isn't as strong as it could be. We, could, we don't have a top real pairing defenseman. But now that we have a guy like TJ o or uh, Kevin Shattenkirk, and I've reviewed this year's draft class briefly. In general, I feel it'll be a good year for rookies. And we also have really good defensemen coming up. I mean, we got Kylington coming up through the lineup, you know, through the through the ranks. So I feel like it's going to be a good year. Um, let's go. Let's do a month here. We finished the preseason 3-3-1. Three, three, and one. That's nothing spectacular. We had a huge loss to Toronto right there. But you can see Eric Stahl had six goals in seven games. And Goudreau had seven assists in seven games. So really nice numbers to start for the preseason. That's all we can ask for. All right, done the scouting assignment to the United States, so we got a better idea there. Um, goal, uh, hold on, goalies was it goalies that had? No, let's go to uh, the WHL. Actually, OHL had two top ten or two top five, so we'll scout a month there. There we go. Let's go to the first. That's fine. All right, Colorado's our first game of the year. A new team, a new look. Well, not really a new team, but definitely a new look, a new feel. Uh, you can definitely, you definitely see that the youth is coming in, and some of the nice little acquisitions that we've made are, you know, the focal point for our roster, which is what I wanted to do. I wanted to build from within, and you know, then supplement the roster with with good quality character players like Rick Nash. I mean, obviously Rick Nash is an aging veteran, but. He still can contribute. I mean, he's got great shooting. So him on that second line, he's going to do really well. He's going to fit right in. Um, and we also have players that can take over for when they age, you know. So when uh, Rick Nash is too old and, and dried up to play and score, we've got Anthony DeLuca, who's a nice, serviceable second-line player. And that's the kind of team you want to be. You want to always have guys ready to replace, you know, ready to jump in there and take it over. Wow, Kevin Shattenkirk has 10 points in five games. Leads the team in goals and assists. Unbelievable. Plus minus as well. The guy's just on fire right now. As we That's our first loss of the year. Uh, Eric Stahl takes over the lead. Eric, Eric Stahl scored the goal in that game. He goes from three to four goals. And uh, taking on now the Pittsburgh Penguins. So, I mean, like I said, we're, we're just looking to keep cycling players in. We're going to have Pavel Zaka coming up. There's Kevin Shattenkirk again producing whether it's our power play or our, our, our uh, just even strength that's getting things done Kevin Shattenkirk is producing and he's got six goals and eight assists Let's do a quick review here save percentage uh we are not up there are we we're not up there for goals against average right now so Nichols is not doing very well uh Shattenkirk is actually third in the league in points Kevin Shattenkirk guys our defenseman is third in the league in points um goals he is up there. He's 8th in the league. Assists, he's not up there. He's really close, though. Team standings, we currently sit in 3rd in our division. I can't believe that. That's crazy. We're having a, a very good race to start, to start off things here. So let's keep going. Good start so far. I'm seeing some streaks of brilliance, and I'm also seeing some things that could probably be worked on, and we'll adjust by tweaking the roster. I mean, that's uh, another big loss in a row. And Jason Demers... I mean, he's playing with Kevin Shattenkirk right now, so I think he's definitely benefiting from playing with him because Shattenkirk is a scoring machine. But my question is, where's Reinhardt? Where's Goudreau? Where is Kessler? Where is Eric Stahl? Why are these guys not producing to the same level? Right? Because that's what they're here for. Those, that's what these guys are here for, is to produce, is to score. Not have our defensemen put up 17 points. I mean, ha I'm happy to have that kind of production from the back end. I mean, he's got 17 points in 11 games. That's fantastic. That's more than anybody could ever hope that anyone. That's more than anyone could hope for, from a from a, a defenseman. But at the same time, there's Reinhardt finally with nine assists, and we were losing now over and over and over again. And it's coming down to Kevin Shattenkirk, and we need to start winning here. All right, guys, come on, start winning. I don't know what the issue is right now. Maybe it's our lines. Maybe it's we don't. We only really have. Two first-line players in one second. There you go. Finally, we got a good win. That's a good, strong hockey win, a one-goal game. we got the Edmonton Oilers coming up next. They've had some really solid seasons, so they're putting a good team on the ice these days. And we win. Nice. And Kevin Shattenkirk still has the lead for goals. So I got to wonder, you know, where's Goudreau? Where's Rick Nash? Are they not being placed with the right type of players? Is that the issue here? You know, we, we've got, like, if six goals is your leading goal scorer, 
and it's coming from your defenseman, you need to start asking what's going on here. Why is no one scoring? So part of the problem might be our power play. There you go, Eric Stahl finally scores. Part of the problem here might be our power play, but what we'll do is we'll, we'll address that in the next video because right now this is going to wrap up. Uh, I'll just finish off the, the month here, and then when we come back, we'll do the, the review. Uh, we'll take a look and see how things are going. You guys will have to let me know about the uh, the trade we made for Kevin Shattenkirk. Right now, it's looking pretty good considering how many points he has, uh, but is it good for us long term? Did we sacrifice too much, or was it finally time to pull the, the plug on Mikhail Gregorenko? Was that a was that a de uh, a move that was too you know too should have happened a long time ago? You know what I mean? Is that the there's Rick Nash? Uh, is that what is that the real question? Is did I wait too long to pull the plug on Gregorenko? I mean, we had him sitting on the third line for how many years? Taking up spot, giving him preference over other players that actually were probably more deserving. So. I mean, that'll end, the, that'll end the month. We did really well to finish it off. Eric Stahl will finish with 10 goals. Ryan with 21 assists. But that's more for when we get back here, guys. So if you liked the video, again, like it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how we did picking up Shattenkirk. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And follow me on Twitter at TargetOdd18. Okay, guys? Until next time, I'm Target Audience. And I'll catch you guys out on the ice.